Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up your HomePod Mini. So in order to do this, you're going to need your iPhone nearby or other Apple device to get this set up. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and plug this in, and you can see it has a standard USB-C connector. Once you get a little bit further in the box here, there is a charger down below. So all we're gonna do is go ahead and plug this in and plug that into the charger, and we're gonna start getting this set up. Once you plug in the Apple device, it takes about 20 or 30 seconds for it to power up and it will start blinking. Now with your iPhone or Apple device next to it, it will automatically populate on the screen like it did for us. Now, in our case, in order to set up the Apple HomePod Mini, we're going to need to update the iOS on our phone, so we're gonna go ahead and click OK. Some of you will already have the update installed, so it will automatically populate here, and you're just going to click OK on setting up the Apple HomePod Mini. We updated the iOS on our phone to the latest version of the software and the HomePod mini popped right up on our device again. Now, if you're having problems getting your HomePod mini to connect to your phone or show up like this one did, just go ahead and unplug the device and plug it back in again and it should pop up. Now we're just gonna click on setup. Here it says install the Home app. We already have the Home app installed and we're just going to go ahead and click install. Now it asks, what room is the HomePod in? We're just going to say living room and click continue. It says HomePod can recognize your voice. Siri can recognize your voice and allow you to use any HomePod in this home to play your music, ask Siri questions, or access personal information when your devices are nearby. Now, if you want the best voice recognition and response here from your HomePod mini, you should click recognize my voice and it will input your voice profile in your Siri voice profile from your iPhone to the HomePod mini. Now, since I'm gonna be testing this out with multiple users that aren't on this iPhone, I'm just going to click don't recognize my voice. I go ahead and click not now. Here it explains personal requests when using Siri and a HomePod mini. It will integrate with the information on your phone so that you can get up-to-date information and ask questions to your HomePod mini that are specific to your schedule or messages. We're going to go ahead and click use personal requests. Now it asks the question, would you like to use this device when sharing your location? And I'm gonna go ahead and say, yes, use this iPhone. Now we need to agree to the terms and conditions. We're going to click agree. Now here we can transfer our accounts and settings from our iPhone and iCloud account to the HomePod mini. So we're gonna go ahead and click transfer settings. Now this is the fun part of getting the HomePod mini set up. What you're going to do is take the phone and you're going to scan the blinking light on the top of the HomePod mini so that you can connect the two devices. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and let's see if we can get it on frame here. Now the HomePod mini is completing setup. Hi, I'm Siri. Welcome to HomePod. You can't tell, but I'm waving. To get my attention, say, hey Siri. Let's get started. Now our HomePod mini has been connected to our phone and is set up. Let's do a couple demonstrations to show you what the HomePod mini can do. Hey Siri, what can you do? I can do lots of things, like turn on the lights, give you a news update, and tell you about the weather. Now you try. Say, hey Siri, play some music. We're going to go ahead and click done here and just test out another HomePod mini command. Hey Siri, what's the weather today? It's currently clear and 45 degrees. Expect mostly cloudy sky starting in the afternoon. Temperatures are heading down from 45 degrees to 36 tonight. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up your HomePod mini. It's important that you have your device nearby when you set up your HomePod mini and that you have the latest iOS installed on your device in order to get this set up. 
Thank you for watching. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any of the links below if you want to support us. Thank you.